I love consumerism. I believe everyone should get the best deal possible under this capitalist society we live in. So that is why I went out of my way for the JJK fans. You want to know the worst merch? I've got you covered. So number 10, oh God. <clears throat> So number 10 is what I like to call, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Number 10 is what I like to call Jujutsu Coxon. We know where I got that name from. Uh, I don't think this is official merch, just gotta say. Something tells me it's not. And all I can find is this one picture on Twitter, JJK Penis. I mean, do I have to explain why it's on the list, really? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Number nine, it's, I mean, it's really not that bad. However, I believe it's a missed opportunity. It's this Toge Plus, you know. Nesoberry, is that the word for the laying down? It's that. Is that right? However, he resembles a mailbox. I believe they should have just made a JJK mailbox instead of just, you know, a plushie that we've seen a billion of. So everyone comment down below, Toge mailbox. Toge ma I want to see everyone say it. Please, we need this. I know you're all just chomping at the bit to know, what is my favorite merch? You're thinking, God, this guy's so negative. Does, does he just hate everything? Yes, I am a full-time hater. However, there is some uh, light in the darkness of this crappy merch. Nobara's hammer. No complaints. Perfect in every way. Peak consumerism, peak capitalism, gives me hope for this world we live in. Number eight is this shit-ass Sukuna. It's AliExpress. There's a few AliExpresses on this list, you know, the bootlegs. Sometimes they're just so bad, you gotta include them. I promise the whole list isn't bootleg. There's a lot of official merch. They fucked up the proportion of his face so bad. If I looked like him, my eyes would be all the way up here. Like, come on. But it's AliExpress, so what are you gonna do? Number seven is the JJK keycaps. Kind of cool keycaps, whatever. Customize your keyboard. Some people like it. Some people like me don't have cool keyboards. The way they did this is slightly unnerving. It's like the scalped head of some characters. And also it kind of looks gross. I don't know the uh, the name of the phobia. Tripo, tripop phobia. I'll put a picture here. Look away if you're tripophobic. That's the word. Or just look away in general. But that's, uh, that's kind of what this reminds me of. It kind of looks gross and like... I believe these may have a benefit though for the blind. I don't know. I'm not blind, but... Maybe, maybe it could help someone blind. You could at least feel the keyboard better. I don't know how often blind people use computers, but scientists need to look into it. These are found on AliExpress. So uh, if they were made officially, you know, officially licensed, I'd criticize them more, but AliExpress stuff doesn't hold as much weight. It's just fun to insult. Number six is this Sukuna wallet. Yeah, I know it's on AliExpress and it's not official merch. That's why it's uh, not higher on the list. Cause if this was official, Oh boy, that'd be awful. Let me tell you what, if you get this wallet, it's over for you. You get pulled over by a cop. They say, license please. You take out this wallet, you're going to jail. You will be found guilty. You will be serving 25 to life. You go to Walmart, you pay the cashier, pull out that wallet. They see that thing. They see those eyes looking back at them. They say, you know what, just take it. You leave, you get it free because they let you take it. The cop's outside already waiting. He says, driver's license, please. It happens all over again. It's unavoidable. You buy this thing, your life will be ruined. Number five is the JJK playing cards. While originally this doesn't seem that bad, it's kind of like, oh, I like JJK. I want some playing cards or you get this as a gift for, for your birthday, Christmas or something from your grandparents. You're like, all right, cool, whatever. But the issue is you can't use them because that will ruin the cards. And so it won't look as awesome anymore because you know, you get JJK playing cards. You don't, you don't want to beat those up like you would normal playing cards. You don't want to like, break their spine shuffling the deck but what really pisses me the hell off with these cards is playing cards you get you, you know the company finally gets like merchandising rights they're like oh playing cards that's the most boomer tier merchandise cash grab they could have ever given us a mcdonald's happy meal would have been like less lazy and lame than this just come on playing cards really number four is the chibi master gojo while i do not think this is really bad i'm looking at it i'm like why does he have such kissable lips don't know what I might do with that figure. But no, in uh, in reality, I found a picture of this figure on Reddit. I think it was titled Goofy Aw Figure. And you see how bad it is in real life? Not good. It does not look great. Much better on the uh, promotional, promotional picture where they actually want you to spend your money on it. Number three is the JJK pop-up pirate game. Uh, while I do believe anxiety inducing family fun is a good tagline, I don't believe this should cost over $200. I don't know why it does. This, this has to be an issue, but I just thought it was really funny. And I'm gonna put it on the list because no way in hell am I paying like 250 bucks for this thing. But other than that, you know, it looks fun. I'd play it, it looks fun. Number two is these fucking buses. I don't know if there's like a secret society of people who collect anime decorated Hot Wheels cars, even though these aren't Hot Wheels. But I have seen these for multiple franchises and every single time they suck. They're just, 
Why? They're awful. They don't look good. I don't know. I don't know who's buying them. I've never heard of anyone wanting one or owning one or having one gifted to them in any way. I know no possession. Somehow they're all sold out. So if somebody wants them, I know it ain't me. I remember seeing something similar in the uh, Demon Slayer video. There is a Demon Slayer toy car line. But those were uh, not all buses. So at least those have some variety. They still made tops and worst, but like, why? What? What's, what's with these anime vehicle fans? So here we are, number one. What is the worst JJK merch ever? of all time, it's the collectible pocket mirrors. These, I mean, they're just lame. That's, that's the best thing I could say. It seems nobody has any of these because I've searched very hard on Google images. The only pictures I can find are from the manufacturer and one website selling them. And that one website selling them, it's on sale. It has no reviews, which leads me to believe nobody has bought one. I don't wanna see anyone in the comments, oh, I love these, I have one. I wish number one could have been more exciting, something awesome, some really ugly figure, but no. Feel free to subscribe if you want to.